Okay, hello, good morning, students. You're on to mathematics for grade seven, and uh, we're still considering algebraic simplification, and that is found in chapter seven, chapter seven of our reference text, the New General Mathematics. We're looking at exercise seven D and seven E. So let's go. All right. So um, exercise. 7D, exercise 7D, number one. Remember I told you what, what I talked about, the nonchalant approach. 2A plus 3A is sitting and say 2 plus what? 3. What am I adding in terms A? And that will give me what? 5A. Is that not? So I want to assume that you have used that approach. And so for number two, you're going to get 2x. Number three, you're going to get 8b. So confirm if that's what you have done. Number four, I'll solve this 6y minus 2y. And this will give me 6 minus 2. And I'm subtracting in terms of y. So that will give me what? 4y. Number five will be 4c plus c, that will be 5c. Number 6, that will be 7z minus z, and that will be 6z, if you're an American. Number 7, p plus 2p, that will be 3p. Number 8, 8k minus 7k, I will do that, 8k minus 7k. That will give you 8 minus 7 in terms of k. And your final answer becomes what? k. Number 12. Number 12. Okay, we, 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 number 9, we said 4q plus 6q, that's 10q. Number 10, 5m minus 2m, that's 3m. Number 11, arrow plus arrow, that would be 2 arrow. Then number 12, 3n minus 3n. Now look at this. These two are the same. So it's stating that this becomes zero. The two, they are the same. So it becomes to what? Zero straight away. Number 13, 5d minus 4d. 5d minus 4d. That will be 5 minus 4, and I'm subtracting in terms of D, and that will give me D. Is that clear? Number 14. X plus 9X. That will be equal to what? Um, 1. Now, take this one I'm taking pains to solve. When you see just X or a letter, if it's A, if it's B, if it's C, it means one of it. It means one of it. It means one of it. Uh, take note of that. It's one of it. So that will be one plus nine in terms of what? X. So what you're doing is that you're, you're adding the coefficients. And what is the coefficient? We said the coefficient is a number that gives us the idea of how many times a, an unknown in the context of algebra is being what? Added. So this will give me what? 10X. Uh, number 15, 20x minus 2x. That will give me 20 minus 2 in terms of x. And that will be what? 18x. All right. So that takes care of exercise 7D. So we'll go to 7E, and I'm going to be rather fast here now. I'm going to be rather fast. And um, so that I can go to more... Uh, demanding tax in the other aspect of it. So, uh, I guess you're ready. You're ready, sir. Is correct. And I'll just lay emphasis on some I feel you need to um, pay attention to. The first one is 4 plus 3, 4a plus 3a, that's 7a. 5b minus 2b, that's um, 3b. 9c plus c, that's 10c. 2d minus 7d, that's 5d. 11e plus 8e, that's what? 19. More like mental work. It's more like mental work. Um, 20f minus 16f, that's 4f. 
um, 5G plus 9G, that will give you 14G. 13H minus H will give me what? 12H. 18J plus 7J will give me 25J. 21K minus 20K will give me 1. Now, let's look at this. There's an idea I want you to pick here. A very important idea I want you to pick here. I. 18 j plus 7 sorry not that uh last question j 20k minus 21k rather minus 20k 21 minus 20 is 1 because 21 minus 20 is 1 because I am moving from 20 to 21. That. Uh -huh. Okay, we go to the next one. We are dealing with number one, exercise 20, uh, 7E, question one, what? Now, we are now in A, M, K. 6M plus 17M is 23M. 22N minus 8N is what? 14N. P plus 5P is what? 6P, um, 7Q minus 7Q is zero. Why? Because the numbers we are dealing with are the same. So there are questions you, you see that you don't need to really do any mental work for. You just see them and you quickly get the answer. I will understand why that answer is correct without having to think. Seven, seven, same numbers must be zero if you are subtracting. All right, so two arrow. We'll go to O now. O questions uh, seven E question one O. So uh, two arrow minus arrow is what one is arrow. Twelve S minus two S is what ten S. Um, question Q two arrow two T plus eight T is what thirty T. Next question twenty one U minus twelve U is equal to what nine U. Now, let me explain something in, in this question. Arrow. 21 U minus 12 U. This markers so very... Let's change the color. Um, what was the question I want here? I want um, R rather. I want R. So it is 21U minus 12U. Now, this is an odd number. I wanted to draw your attention to this is an odd number. This is an even number. If you subtract odd from even or even from odd, your answer must be odd. So we, when solving this, you must map in your mind that the answer must be an odd number. It must be odd. So this will be what? 9u. Why? Because 21 minus 12 will mean start from 12 and go to 21. So you go what? If you are moving from 12 to 21, the first number you are going to count to our hearing is 13. Come again. If you have 21 minus 12, you're going to move from 12 to 21. The first number you're going to count is what? 13. So you go 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So you see that what you're going to count to be what? Nine. You need to master this technique because it will help your counting and make you to be fast at subtracting and adding. Right? We go to S. 3V plus 4V plus 5V. Now this one will give me what? 12V. Now, W plus 4W plus 4W, that will give me what? 9W. 8X plus X plus 3X, that will give me what? Um, 12X. Now, I'm going to give you a trick here. I'll take that one now so that you understand how what to do it. And if you look at you, 8X plus X plus 3X. Now, what you need to do is to say 8 plus 1 plus 3. Eh? 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 plus 3 is what? 12. I see that. So the answer becomes what? 12. 
So this is now the two fx. Some other persons might take a different approach. Might say, okay, one plus three. Take note that this is one. This is what one. So anytime you see a letter on its own, it is what one. That is the coefficient. You must take note of this. I'm emphasizing all of this because these are the little little areas that can throw your balance in this topic. All right. So we go to v now. Five y plus twelve y plus two y. That will give you what five plus thirteen eighteen plus what two, and that will be what. 20. Try to do this mentally. It helps to increase your mental ability. Now, the next one says Z plus 9Z plus Z. Now, I'm going to solve this one because uh, it's, a, it's, 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 it's an interesting one. Z plus 9Z plus Z. Now, there are different ways you can solve this. You discover that if I add this to this, I'll get to 10. This will be 1 plus 9 plus uh, 1. So, some students might say, okay, I want to add this to this first. No, don't do that. In this setting, think of how you can get to 10 first. 1 plus 9 is 10. 10 plus 1, look at this one. 10 plus 1 means add 1 to the unit side. Sorry, it looks as though I've deviated from algebra. No, these are important knowledge you must have. When you see some of us saying we don't use calculator, these are the principles we know. 10 plus 1 means 10, which is a 10. A 10, add 1. 1 in itself is a unit. So, one, when, when you're adding in your mind, I say this is 0, just put 1, 1. That's why it is 11. So, if I ask a student 10 plus 1, I, you, you're taking me more than, you're taking more than 2 seconds to get the answer. This is what the issue is. That should, you shouldn't even think. 10 plus 1, you shouldn't even think and tell me it is 11. Hello? All right. Okay, so we go to the last one. 4a plus 5a plus what? A. That will give you what? 9 plus 1, which is 10. And I'm adding in terms of a. So that takes care of question 1. So let's go to question 2. Question 2 is interesting because here, your knowledge of board mass is being tested. And not only board mass, the most important thing here is your decision making. I said what? Decision making. As we solve each one, I will tell you why you should use this, why you should do this at this point. That's what I'm going to do. This was, I know you can solve all of them. Hey, you'll finish it. But I'm interested in how you can increase your speed. All right. So we go to, we go to question two now. We'll go to question two. Are we ready? Are we warming up? So open to your question two and begin to check because, and I hope you have space at the side of your book because any correction I'm making, any new method I'm adding to what you already know, at the side of the book, just write it there. Eh? I tell my students, when you are preparing your notes, I give you an assignment. Do your own this way, then leave a space this way. And you can even tag that part, call it on top of it, teacher. You can rule your book, teacher. So when teacher does the correction, and the method is different from the one you have used. You write it there. That's how you become better. A better student is one that knows his own and has added his teacher's own. All right. So let's go. So let me give you a minute to get yourself ready. And we are. Question 2A. It says what? 10. Now look at it. It says 10. 10b my plus b minus 3b. In this setting, add first. Do your addition first before you subtract, except told otherwise. So this will be what? 10 plus 1 minus 3 in b. So this will be what? 11 minus 3. And that will be what? 8b. I don't know how many of you did it like this, but it's good you do it like this so that it will help you understand why your answer was that. In this arrangement, do your addition first before you subtract. Please, I, I love to teach order. Do your addition first before you subtract. It's a rhyme. 
do your addition first before you subtract. Okay, that's for A. Then let's look at B. B says what? Three C plus five C minus eight C. Do your addition first before you subtract. Do your addition first before you subtract. So this will be what? Three plus five minus eight. Eh? That will be what? Eight minus C. 8 minus 8c. Remember we said that if you subtract these two numbers that are the same, you get what? 0. Now, someone, you can write, you, someone may not want to write 0c. Ah, no, you just write 0 as your final answer. Why? Because 0, okay, let's put 0 times, let's put 0c, and the final answer becomes what? 0. 0 multiply anything is 0. 0 multiply anything it is what zero so that's what i want you to take note of here if you subtract two things that are the same and you get zero once you multiply the, the algebra you get what zero okay now the next one question 2c so i'm going to run fast now in 2c it is 7 plus 4 minus 8 so that will be 11 minus 8 and that is 3 in um, 2D, it is what? 16 plus 12 minus 13, which will be 28. Now, now, watch. I'm going to bend the rule you need to hear. And I'll just tell you why I'm bending it. And in an exam setting, you know why you're taking that decision. I look at question um, 2D. Look at 2D. What does 2D say? 2D says 16D. 16e plus 12e minus what? 13e. Now, you know I said do your addition first. But remember that our objective is not to work with very big numbers. We don't want to work with numbers that are too big. So if you look at this, this one, I can conveniently remove this from 16. So I will rewrite the equation, the expression. This will be this. I see what I've done. This will not be what? I can easily subtract this to be what? 3e plus what? 12e. And that will give me what? 15e. Now, am I saying that if you do this one, if you add these two and remove this, you are wrong? No. Sometimes in some questions, because I'm training you to be less calculator dependent, it is good for you to be able to look at the problem and decide what is the best way to solve this problem. There are solutions, but there is a best way. And the best way will always involve the minimum logical efforts. Come again, minimum logical efforts. Minimum efforts. I am not doing anything bad. So, in this problem now, you remove this thing. So anytime you are using subtraction, check if you can remove this from any of the bigger numbers. If you can do that, do that first before you add. Have I bent the rule? No. I said, do your addition first before you subtract. But I've added a caveat or I've added a, 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 a sub rule to it now that in this setup, do what? Remove it from it and then add the final answer to what? 12. All right, so I've done that one. So I'm going to rush now till I see something new again. I'm going to rush the work till I see something new again. Now, we go to question E. E is what? 2 minus 2F plus 3F. So you see that that rule will apply. I'll say 2 minus 6 minus 2 will give me 4. 4 plus 3 will give me now what? 7F. See, I've applied the new rule I just taught you. Now, we go to question F. I will solve F. I will solve F. I will solve F. Now look at F. F. Says 4G minus 7G plus what? 10F. 10G rather. Who is playing there? Now, how do you do this? Watch carefully. You discover that I cannot remove 7 from 4. 
Eh? But I can remove seven from ten, so I can rewrite this thing. I'm going to rewrite it. Now, in practice, eh, you can actually do it in your brain. But I'm just going to rewrite it so that you see what is happening. I'm going to rewrite it. This will be like 10G uh, plus minus 7G plus 4G. Now, uh, somebody say, uh, oh, cool. Can't you just add first before? No. If you add a number that is negative and you can remove it from a positive number, do that first. So this will give me what? Um, 3 plus 4G, which will easily give me 7G without stress. Notice that I'm doing this so that I'm also helping your brain to network. Hmm? Your brain can look at possibilities. Uh -huh. Look at possibilities. Okay, will this one work? Will this one work? Will this one work? Uh -huh. Because you will need this idea later in algebra. All right, we are done with that. Let's go to question 2G. In 2G, you have 20H minus 15H plus 6H. So I will do 20 minus 15 first. That will give me 5. 5 plus 6, that will give me what? 11H. I go to the next one. Um, 2J minus 9J plus 9J. Can watch carefully here. In 2H, we have 2J minus 9J plus 9J. Now, observe something interesting here. You have nine, you have nine. This is negative, this is positive. So this two becomes what? Zero. This two becomes what? Zero. So my final answer becomes what? 2G. You see that we are fast. We are fast because we know what we are doing and we are applying the rules. We are making rules that can help us do the thing fast. All right. Okay, one minute. One minute, please. We are on to question... What number are we on now? We are on to I. In I, we do not have a number that can subtract. So what do we do? We add first. So look at I now. We have what? Uh, 11K minus 16K plus 9K. In this setting, we can't remove 16 from 11. We cannot remove 16 from 9. So what do you do? You add first. So now 11k plus 9k minus 16k. And that'll give me 20k minus what? 16k. And that'll give me 4k. Are you seeing that? So you will add first. Understand why we use a particular rule. All right, we're done with that. So we go to the next one now. 8m minus 3m minus what? 2m. At this level, I will advise you to do them gradually. 8 minus 3 is 5. 5 minus 2 is what? 3. Settled. Next one, 9n minus 5n minus 3n. How do you do that? 9 minus 5 first, that will give me 4. 4 minus 3, that will give me what? 1. Next one, 17p minus 8p minus 2p. We do what? 17 minus 8. That will give me 9. 9 minus 2. That will give me what? 7. Now, if you look at that question, I think, I think this one, this one, there are two options here. So let me use this to introduce another idea to you. Look at um, L. Look at L. 17P minus 8P minus 2P. Now, if you look at this problem carefully, 8 plus 2 is what? 10. So I will take these are negatives. These signs are the same. What is addition? Addition means sum up. If the signs are the same, you are adding. If the signs are different, you are subtracting. So this will become what? 17p minus 10p, which will give me 7p. This is just an exception. I notice that if I say 8 plus 2, I will get what? 10. It's faster for me. 8 plus 2 is 10. And it's easy for me to remove 10 from 17. So what we are doing is to show you rules, and then you will decide which one will work best for you in an exam setting. All right? So we're done with that. So we go to which other one now? We go to M, 13 minus 4. That will be 9. 9 minus 4, that will give you 5. 
we go to 22 arrow minus 14 arrow minus 8 arrow. What does that give you? That will give you 8 arrow minus 8 arrow. And that is what? Zero. We go to O, 5S plus S plus 2S plus 4S. That will give me what? 6 plus 2. That will be 8. 8 plus 4. That will give me 12. So that will be 12S. We go to P. That will be 3T plus 6T plus T plus T. 3T plus 6T. 3 plus 6 will give me 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 plus 1 is what? 11. Go to Q. 4U plus U plus 6U minus 5U. Take notes. We said here that where you can do subtraction, do subtraction first. 6 minus 5 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 4 is now what? 6. Maybe I should do that on the board so you see what has happened there. Now we have in Q, we had 4u plus u plus 6u minus 5u. That's what we had as a question. And I told you that if you have a number that you can remove the negative from, do that first. So this would be what? 4u plus u plus u. I seen that. So if you add like this or add like this, depends on which is convenient. 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6. So this would be 6u. I seen that. All right, another smart student can do this. Look at Q. Another smart student can do this. See, please, I really want you to understand what we're doing here. A student can add these two first. This is 5u plus 6u minus 5u. And this minus this will give me 0. And my answer becomes what? 6u. So you see that there are different ways to get the answer. There is no one particular way. And I think this is even faster if you can see it in an exam setting. All right. Okay, so we're done with that. We're done with Q. Let's go to arrow. Arrow says 9V plus 2V plus 3V minus 8V. So what do you do? There's a number there that 8 can be removed from. 9 minus 8 will give me 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 3 is now what? 6. Now the next one, 6 W plus 4W minus 3W minus 2W. So how do you do that? 4 minus 3 is 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 minus 5 will give me what? 2. Will give me what? 2. Okay? Then we go to the next one. Question T. In question T. In question T. In question T, we have 12x plus 3x minus 5x minus 2x. How do you handle this? If you look at this carefully, I can remove this from here. So I remove 5 from here. I'm going to get 7x plus 3x minus 2x. I can remove 2 from here. So that will give me 7x plus x, and that will give me 8x. So what I'm trying to do is I'm breaking that mindset you've had before that there is a particular method that you must always follow. No, that's not true. I stand here to disagree with that concept. It's, it's a mental thing, and God has made us unique. So I may see it in a particular way. It does not mean that you must see it in that light. All right. Okay, so we go to the next one. In a question, arrow, we are done, we are done T. We now go to U. 3Y minus 5Y plus 10Y minus 4Y. Let's look at, let's write this one. Um, 3Y, U. 3Y minus 5Y plus 10Y minus 4Y. How do we go about this? Now, if you look at this, now, this is where I can remove this from this. This will now give me what? 3y plus 5y. Because I can remove 5 from 10. Negative means remove. Ability to remove from what? 10. And then minus 4y. I can remove 4 
from five. This will now give me three y plus what? Y, and my answer is what? Four. And answer becomes four y, rather. So what about v? You look at v, you have seven z minus two z plus seven z minus two z. Now notice the pattern. This, I, this, and now watch this. I hope I copied that correctly. Yes, I did. Now if you look at this, this is repeating itself here. So. In this case, the rule will bend a little. I'll just simply say five words z plus what? Five z, and that'll be what? Ten z. That's the fastest way. So in solving, you should be able to recognize, you should be able to recognize patterns. You should be able to do what? Recognize patterns. So that's for V. So what does W say? W says 10a plus 5a minus 2a plus a. Now, I can remove 2 from 5. That will give me 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 11 is what? 15. So, in that W, my answer becomes 15A. Are we seeing that? Now, what about X? 4B plus, maybe we'll write that one down. X. 4B plus 2B minus 9B plus 8B. And this is what you're asked to do. If you check carefully, I can remove 9 from any of these numbers. So in this case, I will add first before I subtract. So what do I do? 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 8 is what? 14. 14 minus 9 will give me 5. So the answer becomes 5B. That's for X. For Y, I have... 20c minus 9c minus c plus what? 2c. So what do I do? Before I start subtracting, let me do let me, let me, let me write this one down. 20c minus 9c minus c plus 2c. Please, when you're giving problems, don't be in a hurry to just want to solve and run away. Look at it. If you observe carefully in this problem, I can actually add these two first. Because we said that addition means adding things of the same sign. Subtraction means dealing with things of different signs. If you look at this, I have, I have minus 9c here. I have c here. I see it. Minus 9c and what? Or negative 9c and what? Negative what I have c. This will give me 20 minus 10, 20c minus 10c plus what? 2c. So I can do the subtraction first, and that will give me 10c plus 2c, which in revenue will give me what? 12c as my final answer. You get that? So 12c becomes my final answer. 12c becomes my final answer. So let's go to the last one, which is z, which is z, question z. How do you take care of z? Z says what? 2d minus 5d minus 3d plus what? 4d. Again, I can remove 5 from 12. I'm going to get 7. I can remove 3 from 12. I'm going to get what? 4. I can add 4 to 4, and that will give me what? 8. I come again. 12 minus 5 is 7. 7 minus 3 is 4. 4 plus 4 becomes what? 8. So at the end of the day, your final answer becomes what? 8. Becomes what? 8D.